What's up you guys? Hey, I got a good one for you today. I guess I'm on the kick of what ridiculous, stupid, idiotic things happen in medicine. And here I have one for you because I just got a phone call. I uh, wrote a script for pain meds, oxycodone. You know, you uh, have to write, you know, the script right. You have to put the number of pills on there and all that good stuff, which I do. And then you have to put your DEA on the script. If you like have a pre-printed script, like the DEA is on there all, all the time. And the NPI, which is the National Practitioner like Index or number or whatever it is, is also usually on there. So in order for you to write a narcotic, especially you have to have the DEA number on there. And this was a script from like the hospital, so I, it doesn't have my info on there, so I just write it on there. So the pharmacist calls me, he's like, hey, you have one letter missing on here. Well, he's like, would you please read me your DEA number, like I'm fake, right? I understand like, because <clears throat> obviously narcotics are a huge problem right now. They wanna make sure that this is not a fake script. I agree 100%, go ahead and do that, right? Do you think like it should be some maybe like a little more secretive? Because my DEA number is on every script I hand out and I hand it to the patient. So the patient can just copy down my DEA number and, and send it out to every all of his friends. Is that secure? Now he's gonna call me and I gotta hang on the phone for five minutes because the pharmacist is never like picks up right away. What's your DEA number, mister? Huh? What is it? Well, sh you probably get that on the internet. You probably get everybody's DEA on the internet. Everybody's NPI. Is that really secure? Like, is that the best way to do that? And I just don't, I'm, I'm like, I'm just blown away by the stupidity of our system. Stupidity. If you want to do electronic transfers of these meds, that's great. That's fantastic. I have my little passcode, which I have to change every 90 days or whatever it is. That's a great idea. Make it freaking easy. You can, we can't even figure that shit out. You can't even, like every hospital you go to, it's like a freaking act of God to be able to get electronic transfer of scripts. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so hard. It, medicine is made so hard. You know why? Because that damn hippo shit. I already talked about that. That's just one little tidbit of ridiculous, ridiculousness that we have to deal with every day, day in and day out, all the time. Last time, another pharmacist called me and said, hey, uh, I can't find you in the system. I don't know who you are. My DEA number was on that one. And that was, I actually did write it correct. Most of, most of the time I do. Uh, I screwed up this one. I can't find you. You're not in the system. I'm like, well, you're CVS, right? CVS, a national company. Do you know how many times I've written a script that the patient takes to CVS? Literally thousands. I'm licensed in like eight states. This lady is like, well, I don't see you in our system. I don't see you. I waited 10 minutes on the, on the phone for that one. She's like, uh, oh, we're, you're, you're Utah, right? I was like, yeah, well, the Utah DEA, it's Utah. But my NPI was like originated in Michigan or something. I don't even know why she couldn't find me. She's like, oh, well, I had to broaden the search to national. You couldn't just do that automatically. You had to call me to, to find out that maybe the first script I ever wrote was not in Utah. It was possibly in another state, like maybe my residency state where I did my general surgery residency. You don't think that one? I mean, come on. Idiotic. The system is idiotic. Hey, that's my rant for the day. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe, like, and share these videos if you like them. That would be great. All right, see you in the next one. Take care.